Hello guys, this is Amit here and in this video let's talk about a new concept for Windows 10. So this time I'll be talking about context menu and uh, before I show you what I've made, I'll, I'll um, you know walk you through uh, my thinking process and first of all I'll show you what are the inconsistencies. So for example on desktop you can see we have this slightly grayish context menu. On the taskbar we have a different one uh, which is dark and uh, this one doesn't actually change with your theme color. Uh, on the start you can see we have icons for most of them here uh, you can see we have this one where we have recent screen and that is darker and the other one is lighter i get the logic why it is done but uh, i'm just showing you what are the inconsistencies right now for example in some uwp app for example in mail you can see that if i right click we get a different kind of context menu which actually change with the theme so for example if i change the theme to light let's do that now you can see that this has changed and we have icons for them so obviously there is a lot of you know difference from uh, difference in case of context menu on windows 10 now let's talk about how people actually conceive this whether they think that this is a problem to them or not so the first kind of people were those who said that they don't even recall there being an inconsistency so they don't remember that context menus are different at different places the main reason could be that you know when they right click their uh, you know main focus is on finding the option they are looking for not on the background color and all the other stuff but i truly believe that these things are going back in their mind and somehow you know forming opinions about the product but you know in their working memory they are not able to recognize it uh, the second kind of people were those who said that yes they have seen inconsistencies but they don't actually care because it hasn't stopped them from you know uh, doing something it is not hindering their productivity so that is why they don't care so this shows that there is nothing actually wrong in terms of functionality in context menu uh, but in terms of experience i think you know uh, there is a lot that can be improved because as a person i think that experience is all that count experience is something that can make or break your product and uh, it can drive people uh, to your product or against your product so that is why you know my aim uh, was to improve the experience and not the function uh, not the functionality of the you know context menu so uh, i'll be showing you what are the concepts that i made i'll be first showing you things that i made initially which didn't work out uh, very well then i'll you know progress accordingly so this was the initial concept you can see uh, you know context menu in various colors so my initial thought was that as the color of your windows changes you know uh, we have this uh, option in windows as your wallpaper changes your background color also adapts to that so i was thinking that uh, we can do that uh, as your background color is going to change your context menu and all the other things are also going to change uh, you can also see we have uh, you know gaussian blur kind of layout you might think that this is something from uh, mac os uh, mac os also does the same thing uh, but uh, the idea was not from there uh, basically you know your start your action center all are having you, this gaussian blur kind of layout so i thought that you know your context menu should also match these things and uh, that is why i made it like that so the problem with this was that you know first of all i thought that uh, windows 10 is supposed to run on a lot of devices even on very low end low powered cpu so i thought that this might be too taxing for them uh, because you know changing the color every time your wallpaper gets updated might be a bit too taxing for them so that is why i thought that uh, this might not be a good idea the other problem was that you know if the background color is a bit lighter for example in this case you can see uh, these options are not very clear so you might have to invert the color from white to black and that i thought was a, an overhead for the system to do that so that is why i uh, you know dropped this idea so this is the next idea which i came up with so there are basically two kind of theme in windows 10 dark and light so i thought of making only two variant of context menu that is dark and light so you can also see we have various level of transparency so my idea was to you know uh, collect similar kind of option with similar kind of background so that it is a bit easier to find but that is not necessary uh, similarly in case of white theme also you can see we have various level of transparencies so this was my second idea uh, the third idea was you know having the same color kind of what we have on mac os so uh, there are no layers we have these slight lines to separate each kind of each group and uh, similarly in case of white theme also you can see uh, so you can see you know I tried with various background to see if there is any problem in readability but it turns out to be okay so uh, these were my three ideas uh, I was also making a context menu for uh, touch interface which I haven't finished but it is very uh, you know 
not very unique idea it is uh, known to everybody so we have a circular ring kind of structure which have the option so it it is a bit easier for touch interface so uh, that's all uh, these were my ideas which i made uh, let me know which one you think is the best one or if you have some other idea or other suggestion you can also tell me and uh, that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye